The day when we're all driving around in electric cars like this one may be a thought too far in the future. But here at Parliament, MEPs are drawing up new rules that will make the vehicles we drive more environmentally friendly. First it was cars, now it's vans. MEPs have given the green light to reduce CO2 emissions of new vans to 147 grams per kilometre by 2020 a compromise from the original proposal of 135 grams per kilometre. Emission cuts will be phased in from 2014. Manufacturers will have to ensure that 70% of their fleet of new vans will have to comply with a 175 gram per kilometre target for 2017. Failure to comply will result in heavy fines of up to 95 euros for every excess gram per registered van. Those who support the legislation say it will benefit small businesses. We should watch if we set tough CO2 limits uh, that the prices for new cars will be increased. And uh, maybe is that not uh, um, the same benefit? Uh, it, will, it will eventually benefit by operating the car with, with less fuel consumption. But there's a loophole in the legislation. The target only applies to the average of the fleet of vans produced. So a manufacturer can still produce vans that have high emissions by balancing them with vehicles that are below the limit. So back to the e-car. Could the technology be developed so that e-vans could replace their conventional friends on Europe's roads? They are no alternative because they don't reach a long distance and uh, people would use them as a second car and where is there the benefit if you only have this second car in the city? I think then you should have development to conventional cars with less CO2 emissions. So it seems, despite the criticism, MEPs agree that reducing CO2 emissions is the best way forward to tackle climate change.